then this is how government is immoral. This organization that calls itself the government then only knows how to solve problems the one way, and that's to the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and uh, my friend here already share. Well, am I allowed to yeah, comment? Yeah, now you can. Please, please do. Okay. Well, I, I see your uh, train of thought. I see that. Uh, however, I am not uh, in favor of anarchy. Um, everyone do their own thing. Um, I, I do understand that the governments are in place right now uh, for a some degree of order now I am in any I'm not in any way saying that all police action is uh, you know necessary or warranted and lethal force take this popular now in the news right right I'm not you know, in favor of um, anyone's life uh, taken at gunpoint. Uh, but I can't judge these situations either. You know, like the um, like the deaf man that was killed, you know, yeah. the other day or whatever. I feel bad about that. You know, but I'm not uh, advocating some governmental overthrow or anything like that because cause I, personally, I'm a theocrat. Mm -hmm. What and, does that mean? In other words, uh, God is ruling my life. Okay, there we go, right. And, uh, but, you know, everyone does not follow that. Right, right. But you mentioned that um, the things you are against are murder, right, of violence, of right. Course. And if the government, this government, not the the one from above, from God, and this government, if the only way it can only solve problems is through violence, then then that is something we will have to kind of look at and examine and kind of reject. And that the only way government knows how to solve its problems is through threatening people, robbing them, hurting them. Um, in well, terms of uh, it's, it's moral laws are not uh, universal, right? I, I completely agree with the, the governments of the earth are weighed in the universe and found de deficient. I, uh, you know, agree with that. But as um, I think it was Jesus said, um, right now they are allowed to handle their business right now uh, until the heavenly government takes over. But God says, though, without exceptions, on the only words that he written on this planet with his finger, do not murder. And what does government do And every law that it passes? Murder those who disobey the word of man. God wrote, do not steal with his own finger as a rule, not a suggestion, but or taxes, but theft. When you do not surrender your money, your property, your taxes to government, they will kick down your drawer and send you to a cage. Yeah. Right? So this I, is then illegitimate under the eyes of God. Well, I understand that he wrote that to the nation of Israel. I do understand that. But later, hundreds of years later, God's son came and he was questioned about the same thing. And he said, pay Caesar's things to Caesar, but God's things to God. So I pay my taxes, I obey the laws, I stop at every red light, I stop at every stop sign, and I, I too have um, felt some injustices in my life, okay? Um, but uh, I am not advocating human, human change. I'm advocating heavenly change. And that is ultimately what will take away all human governments. If you read 
right? uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. God's kingdom will take away all these immoral governments. And that will happen at the war of Armageddon. Okay. And that That's is right. what I'm waiting for. Sure. But these things will not happen on their own. These things are not going to happen no. by sitting idle, right? No. These things we kind of have to work towards no, removing the, these no, the creators. Governments. No, the creators. All right, so, so even the creators. But I cannot wait myself until that time, right? Because uh, there are Why other not? People. Uh, because I'm not a Christian. I am. I'm oh, not you're ready. Not, you're right. not okay. So I'm not ready. I okay. want this immorality removed in my lifetime. I want freedom in my lifetime. Like right. you, like many before you, um, want to change the government. No, I don't want to change the government. Or take it away or move, remove it, right? I want, uh, yeah, I want this immorality removed from my community. The idea that violence is a way but to solve But your community, you, 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 you mean the global community, right? Well, we'll get I mean, there. Not right just now, the U.S. Right now, I concern myself the US. with Richmond. Oh, okay. Richmond right. first. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, no, I many before you, many people before you wanted the same thing. They have never wanted right? the same thing. They have wanted to change government to shape it as they but see fit. But how do you know? No one wanted to remove it. Not in the way that we're advocating for and trying to create our own peaceful society outside of government. We have no contentions to... Uh, take up arms against the capital, right. right? We have no intentions to shoot right. anyone. Our intention is to create this community here in which uh, we do believe it's wrong to steal or wrong to murder here peacefully in our interactions and put that aside away from government altogether. So that's kind of like um, utopia. No, utopia implies that it's perfect. We don't want perfection. We want there to be problems, but we want there to be ways to continually find solutions to these problems in a nonviolent manner in the way that you and I already value. Right? We don't use violence to solve our problems. So let us continue to work on that endeavor outside of the preview of government, which only knows how to solve problems through the threat of and use of violence. Want to come in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't speak for Cal personally, but um, he can disagree with me, choose to disagree with me if he chooses. Uh, my name's Tiger, by the way. Oh, Terrence. Terrence. Um, what I advocate is nonviolence, and I'm having a hard time understanding why you would disagree with me on that. No, I just, you didn't hear me. I did agree yeah. with what he initially asked me about violence, right? You asked me, yeah. Yeah. Right. I agree with what he said. So to, to the extent that the government is violent, I advocate that they, well, they cease use, the violence. They use... Do you disagree with that? They execute... I just feel... No, I don't feel... Um, I read in the Bible that they are allowed for the time being to handle their business. There are some very violent individuals mm -hmm. walking the streets and when they're locked up, I don't, I don't have any protest about it. No, I don't. So you... I mean, there are people yeah. committing crimes, let's face it. Yeah, Right. Sure. A little, like a, what, a little 12-year-old boy blew yeah. up 51 people, right? Or the police uh, choking Eric Garner for selling uh, untaxed cigarettes. I'm sorry? Or the police in New York City I heard about that Eric too. Yeah. 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 So what I'm saying is there are some, I don't know what Eric Garner was doing. I, right. I don't, you know, I don't have the um, files yeah. on but, that but you're trial. About the people but I'm talking that about there are, yeah. but there are people right. walking this earth, not everybody, right. but there are some that will perpetrate violence. Right. And no, I don't have a problem with uh, governmental authority stopping them, uh, incarcerating them. Uh, if they get in a shootout, if, if they get killed, yeah. I'll leave it to God. If he wants to resurrect them or not, it's, yeah. not, it's not my choosing. No, I don't have. Yeah, I also. Believe, but I don't advocate yeah. over extension of the law. I do not advocate uh, someone uh, uh, with authority, a cop, uh, making personal decisions to uh, kill someone that he may inside know is unarmed, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I don't uh, advocate that either. No. Right. So you think that uh, then, when we're talking about like, the overthrow of government, you believe, it would seem then that would also be that there would be no law, that there would be no security, the market would not provide these things that 
our society still would want? Christians such uh, as yourself. What do you mean? Like, like uh, in terms of like maybe... Oh, defense. if you remove government. Right, right, right. Yeah, that, could, go ahead. could someone other than government do the good things that you want government to do, the defensive actions? Yeah. Um, and... Uh, an entity or you know, you know a conglomerate okay. of people that by design is only interested in defense and preventing violence maybe through their own violence you know through defense but strictly defensive as opposed to the government which is not a strictly defensive organization since by design the government is this has these other offensive functions right. I oppose it if there was right. an entity that was strictly a, defensive I would say I have no issue you're looking for a defensive well I don't think that's yeah. gonna be the answer either I mean, it would be. I really don't, because you probably, I know you just don't believe it, probably, but there is a, a actual very powerful evil force making sure that humans will not honor this sort of government you're talking about. What, what is that powerful force? His name is Satan. So, because of your belief in that force, yes. you would advise those of us that want to make changes in our lives toward nonviolence to hey, oh, good. to cease our attempts to change? I'm sorry, start that. Like, because of your belief in Hasatan, you would adv you would ask that we stop our attempts at no, nonviolence. No, I'm not or? asking you to no. I'm not asking you to stop. I'm asking you to examine the actual. Uh, written <laughs> record and if you will composite letter yeah that, that the creator uh, saw to us being handed down uh, despite direct attempts from Satan to get rid of his word is still here and it's been proven yeah. that it is still accurate from manuscripts hundreds of years ago so yeah. I'm asking I'm not asking you I'm not telling you to s stop anything I'm just okay. telling you you that there are forces at work that man humans cannot irreplicate such as Satan and his demons you can't get rid of them they're powerful they've actually been limited they've actually been limited mm -hmm. from what they used to could do uh, you know, before the flood of Noah. So, supposing I, I don't, I don't hold your view, but I'm ver, very sympathetic to it, and I've and I've read these books. I don't know Hebrew, but I do know Greek, and I've read much of the New Testament in Greek. And one possible interpretation I can make about that would be: Is it possible that the Holy Spirit could be active in the work we're doing to promote nonviolence? Can you? Could well, you? Could you perhaps, even though we're not Christians, even though we don't profess to be believers, could you see that in no. the spirit of a, a non-Christian pacifist, a non-Christian, non-violent activist, such as I would consider myself, that perhaps I'm, you know, operating in accordance Honest. with God's will? Is Honest. that something you might consider as possible? No. Or do you believe I'm gonna say this. That that's I'm, impossible? I'm going to say this. You, you, you mentioned God's Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay? How could you have... Uh, his Holy Spirit when you telling me you are not a follower of his son which is the way mm -hmm. how could you tell oh, me yeah, that? I have a different interpretation of those passages I do so believe myself to be a follower so do I, don't, believe I don't believe in Jesus, his divinity you, I, I take him as a very excellent model for behavior and I think his, his, his but I'm the way the truth and the light I do not think is a statement saying I'm the son of God and Jesus never makes such claims about That's, himself Others make That's those claims where, about him, but no, he. You said he didn't. He does not say I'm the son of God. He says you say I am. That's the most he says about it. But I would challenge you to provide me with that. No, he said many, passage. He said many times I came to do my father's will. Mm -hmm. Many times. Mm -hmm. So. And no different. But he refers to everyone in such a way that we're all these. No, children. he doesn't refer to himself in a separate. No, he manner. said all authority has been given to me, and. He told Peter that he would okay. open the uh, the Christian mm -hmm. uh, teaching up to first of all the Jews, of course, mm -hmm. then to the um, Samaritans, mm -hmm. and then to the Gentiles or 
No. Yeah. Right. So, uh, and he said that you would perform greater works than me. Well, after he left the earth, he was right. The the globe, the whole globe, is being uh, the good news of God's kingdom is being published throughout the whole earth right now so, in okay, I, I see what you're a thousand no seven hundred something languages. So Jesus alone on the earth yeah. didn't do that, but he said, "What will follow me is greater." And it's happening. I respect that interpretation. It's happening. I, yeah, I respect the interpretation, though I disagree with it. But the, okay. the question I was asking, which I don't think was answered, maybe unless I missed no, it. No, I, I, I feel it, the Holy Spirit cannot be with a organization. As an individual. Or with an individual. As an individual that's promoting nonviolence, do you think I'm acting against God's will? Am I, am I acting in accordance with the Satan when I do that? Or am I... Do I fit into the into God's law as someone promoting nonviolence? Well, if you're only promoting nonviolence, that's all I'm promoting. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm then promoting you wouldn't then you wouldn't be in line with what he's promoting because he's promoting change. Who is the Creator, yeah. God? He's promoting change, but not change through humans. Change through the messianic kingdom, which but, is a government. But am I at odds with, I mean, is well, there's only nonviolence on earth is there's only at two sides. odds with God's will? There's two sides, Satan, God's. So as a non-Christian, non-violence advocate, I'm allied with Satan? Is that your stance? Well, you need to study the Bible and no, figure that one out. No, I'm asking out. what your interpretation is, and I'm very curious, because that's what you brought well, up to counter our claims for nonviolence. So I'd like to understand it. Well, like I said, I will say this. If you're only advocating nonviolence... Other things, too, but for the purpose of this conversation, that's all we were advocating, which is why we were saying government okay. was immoral as a violent entity. Okay, but for the purpose of this conversation... I'm advocating what the Bible is advocating, and that is change. I understand that. To the but messianic I, kingdom. Are you not interested in answering the question that I was asking, though, or do you not? Maybe you don't have an answer, and that's fine too. What is your question? Is my stance of nonviolence in accordance with God's will or with Satan's will? Well, nonviolence is, there is a good. Third option. Nonviolence is 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 good, but that's that's just that's well, a slither of it. And who defines the good, in your opinion? The creator. So I am not. My stance on nonviolence is in accordance with the good that you believe in. That comes from God. Well, that's a good thing. So yes. Am I missing no, repeat something? Your question again. Is my stance of nonviolence yes, in accordance with God's will? Or am I going against yeah, it? Yeah, no, no. That's in accordance with God's will. Okay. To be non yes. So, but, but that's not... It's not the fullness that's not that its like whole purpose. Correct. Right. But so, insofar as we are advocating for a portion which I of said, God's will... Which I said. Are, you know, can you kind of... I mean, do you support you know, non-Christians, um, I guess, advocating for what we're adding, advocating for? And advocating for non-violence? Is that like a... A change that you can um, say, like, yeah, even though you know I'm waiting for God to change the world, even though I think the Satan character is around that's going to really mess things up in the meanwhile. That yes, I'm on board with people advocating for nonviolence, whatever religion or non-religion they have, because you know that kind of no, 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 I can't align with that because so interesting yeah, because that in itself takes persons uh, out of the way of what Jesus advocated. Jesus so. did not advocate just, you know, return your sword to his sheath. He did not advocate just that. But he told the Jews at that time to look to him because the Messiah is here. The way, the truth, and the life, and he did powerful works to 
show that he is the Messiah. Okay, he didn't just tell Peter, put your sword away and let's tell everyone, sure. let's go around and tell everyone to put their swords away. But I'm not telling anyone not to pursue your investigation into Christ. I'm not telling anyone not to well, good. emulate Christ or read the Bible. I'm just, I'm saying a subset of what you're saying, I think, unless I've misunderstood. You know, I don't that, know about a subset or no, these technicalities. No, so I'm just saying that if all you're advocating is non-violence. No, I mean, I advocate for other things. You know, I advocate for good well, education. I advocate for many yeah, things. Yeah, but those saying, are but, side points because yeah. you would have been talking to me about that. No, but I, your main, I don't talk to everyone about everything thrust, I want to talk your about. Your main thrust is the non-violence, right? That's, uh, Inco incorrect. that's what we're talking that's, about. That's one thing we're here to talk about right now because I think it's too complicated to talk about everything with everyone all the time. Okay. And I think it's a good starting point because I think if you and I can well, be non-violent... What's the most important thing to you? May I finish the, the one sentence? And if you and I can be nonviolent with each other, then we can answer those was, other questions, right? I was that when I walked over here. Yeah, totally, right? Which is why I advocate for it and why, why I would hope that you would too. Um, but I think there are but, far greater things to achieve. What is the most built important on that piece. thing to you? The good. The what? The good. The good. The good the what? The good pizza? I mean, what are you saying? The good as such. The good. Um, in your Bible, there's a couple words that could translate as that, but agathos well, what is do often. You mean by the good? I mean the highest state of being of anything. Um, yeah, I mean I don't think I'm so um, conceptually uh, different on that concept than you are. Um, it's just that we have a different belief about the, maybe the source of that goodness, but. Well. I think if you understand what goodness is in a certain in your within your theology, my concept of goodness is not so different from yours. My concept would mean like a harmony with um, the state of creation. I would say this: the most important thing there is in the universe is the vindication of God's sovereignty and the sanctification of his name, which in English is Jehovah, right? I'm familiar with it. But the vindication of his sovereignty, because that's what was uh, called into question from the very beginning mm -hmm. of humans. So that is what I think is the most important. His universal right to tell his creation what's best. That's where I stand. Yeah, what's best? I think that's, that's not so different from myself. Well, you said good. Yeah. I didn't know. Well, best. You that ended with the best was your last in word. Itself. Yeah, I I don't think my concept of the good is so different from your concept of. Jehovah. Well, yours is um, yours is. Uh, I I mean, I you know I don't know who your authority is. Who's, who who do you look to for? for all ultimate guidance? I, in a sense, I could say God. I mean, I don't disagree oh, with do. that, okay. but I, I think we have you know, different so understandings believe, of that concept. You do believe in a creator? Not necessarily a creator, but what? a highest principle, a most supreme state of perfection. A supreme state? Or a supreme... It doesn't have to be a state. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of trying to use these words to capture something that I think you would agree is ineffable. I mean, how can you speak the being of God? Uh, we can speak by the being that he has educated us on again through his word. Okay, so then his I am what I am. He says, no. Self he says, I, created he says, I am business. Jehovah. I am one Jehovah. Yeah. Which means he is unique, the one and only. Mm -hmm. All these other gods, Baal, um, I would agree. Buddha, all these other gods are man-made. So we've strayed very far away from the question of nonviolence and government. Um, well, if we can end I'm with some sort of common ground. Sovereignty. Yeah. Like I said, the most important thing for me yeah. is the vindication of Jehovah's sovereignty, his will. Okay. That's I guess the last most question, important thing. Last question I would have would be um, 
from having talked to I and or me and Cal this long, do you have the impression that you have any reason to oppose our endeavors in this world? Like I said. Toward nonviolence? Like I said when I walked over here, I agreed. Yeah. You asked me some three questions, yeah. right? What did yeah. I say to them? You agree? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Thank sir. you so much, sir. <laughs>